All right, so this is a reaction video to um, Delroy Lindo. Um, I I've got to call him Delroy Lindo, but li well, Delroy Lindo. But I know it's Delroy Lindo. Don't get it twisted. I know, I know. But anyway, what I didn't know, this was up until like a couple years ago. I didn't know that he was one Jamaican, but that should have been obvious by his name, Delroy. <laughs> However, um, I didn't know he was a black British actor that actually went overseas, do you see what I mean, to America. So you see all these people complaining, oh, why do black British actors come to Britain, blah, blah, blah. Well, let's watch this video and you're going to hear what he has to say. You understand? Like, and he's a veteran in this thing. Like, he is a veteran, yeah? He is a veteran. Like, every other movie you can think of, I swear he's in it. I, I swear he's in it. Like, I swear. But let's go. I think you would would be the actor you are today if you had actually stayed here in England. Absolutely not. Straight answer, straight to the point. Do you think you would be the actor you are today if you stayed with the opportunities or what do you say? Let's put it, let's rewind it, let's rewind it. I think you would would be the actor you are today if you had actually stayed here in England? Absolutely not. Um, because I simply would not have had the opportunities. Do you see what I mean? Listen, I know it sounds mad and I know it sounds crazy and it's really weird, yeah, how in Britain, right, you wouldn't really see it as racist and all that stuff there but there's less opportunities especially when it comes to the entertainment industry yeah it's only in the like even if we look at like the hip-hop scene or the gram scene or the uk scene or whatever the music scene when it comes to black people right it's only up until the last what 20 years yeah and if, even then there was like a little break but even then those there were some that that had to um compromise their art you know what i mean to get that radio airplay. And that, that's just on the music aspect. It's only, I swear it's only two years ago where Fredo and, De and Dave got the first UK rap, number one song, straight rap. No singy hooky thing, no, you know, dance vibe type of thing, like straight rap. And that was a couple years ago. Now let's flip it to the music, to the movie industry and the TV industry. Again, it's very limited. It's very, very limited. Like, it's very, very limited. It's only now you're, you're seeing a, a, a plethora of, of, of people in the scene. And the UK are catching up, but I tend to have seen more black people get more opportunities in America, right? And what's mad interesting is America's overtly racist. Yet there's more opportunities over there. Like, how? I would not have had the I would not have had the career. I would not be sitting here at three AM talking to you all. Um, <laughs> um I would not I would not be sitting here speaking to you. Um uh I would not be in this position professionally and personally had I stayed in England. Um absolutely not. So you listen to the way he's articulating it. See, there's some people that are aware of this and there's some people that are not aware of this, but now you're being more aware of this. So all this anti-black British coming to America, taking roles. Listen, you see how it works in the, in, in the entertainment industry, yeah? In terms of acting, right? You need to audition for roles. It doesn't matter how good you are as of an actor, you need to audition for roles. So if you do not do the, if you do not, uh, if the audition doesn't go well, if they don't pick you, they don't pick you. Like, I give you an example. I was watching an interview with um, uh, Tisha Campbell, or part of the interview, should I say, and she mentioned how she basically forced her way into an audition for My Wife, wife and Kids. She wasn't supposed, to, I don't want to say she wasn't supposed to be there, but technically, because of certain situations, she wasn't supposed to be there, but she went there anyway, yeah? And she auditioned, and she, the audition went so well that she ended up getting that role. 
Do you see what I'm saying? That's how it works. That's how it works. But yeah, let's go. Well, listen, we're very grateful that yeah. you did stay up until 3 a.m. in the morning to speak to us. It's been I great am. to talk to you. Thank you so yeah. much. And as I, we were I saying, it's like, an incredible performance. I feel like there's a documentary in there uh, with you coming back to Lewisham. Jeez! I only forgot he's from South. Jeez! South! When I say South, you say Runting. South, Runting, South, Runting. When I say Runting, you say South. You hear me? Put, put hashtag South London Runtings. Yeah? And the, the thing should be T I N G Z, yeah. Let's go. Your, your um, experience, absolutely, absolutely. There are lots of stories yet to be told. Thank you so much for having me, and God bless. Thanks I really very appreciate much. it. Thank and listen, you. We, I think you, yeah. So he picked, he definitely picked up the accent over there as well. Um, because you can just about hear, 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 hear a, a bit of an accent there from an American type of accent, but. Um, yeah, it's good. It's good that he, did. I, it's good that that presenter, I don't even know who he is. He should stay there. He should, he needs to replace Pierce the Moron. He needs to replace Pierce the Rock Moron. Who is the guy? Let me, leave the answer to the comments, leave your answer to the comment section below. Let me know who that brother is. Like, that's interesting. Raw. Like, he, cause he asked, not only did he ask the right question, right? But he also asked, or not even just us, he hinted and suggested, yeah, about something, yeah, that's important, yeah, that there's a documentary there somewhere about telling your story, and, you know, Dora was like, yeah, do you know what I mean? He may not have really, really thought about it per se, because sometimes, sometimes people can catch you off guard in it, like when they ask certain questions, and it's like, then you think, hang on, maybe that's a good idea. And then they get the ball rolling, and the next thing you know, another type of opportunity that could inspire someone else from Lewisham or from London or from South London or from the UK that is black, British, or whatever. And it can inspire them to go out and do great things. Because look at this, look at that now. I don't know who. It will be interesting to know how and where the, the, the influx of black British actors came to America at one point. Because now they're everywhere. You see what I mean? Like, get me? Now they're everywhere. Like, the, I swear there's another actor. I forgot his name. I forget. Is it? Um, I don't want to get his name wrong. Is it Damon Id Idris? I should know his name because he's from Ends. Um, I say from Ends, but from the Nam, in it. Um, from South London. So it's like I should know his name. Like, and he's the lead role in Snowfall. You know what I mean? So that's another thing. So anyway, listen, 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 listen. All I'm gonna say is. He is an example. Delroy Lindo is an example of why if you're not... All right, I've always said, especially if you're using this channel, I've always said that go where you're accepted and celebrated. So go where you're accepted and celebrated or go and create where to be accepted and celebrated and celebrate others. You see what I'm saying? So he basically just said, you know what, fuck it, I'm gone, boom. Rest of America, got the roles, did his thing, boom. Do you know what I mean? So he, he, he took opportunities, but you have to have a strong mental health to be able to do that. You have to have a strong mental health to be able to realise the opportunities around you rather than moan and complain. So what I'm going to suggest is if you click the link in the description box below, which says become a member of the ACAP you don't trust, you will get access to online courses such as roles and relationships, not that course, forget that. The course to do with healthcare. Um, I want to forget that you can do that course if you want to, but the co course to do with healthcare, that's where you're going to learn more to do with um, learning how to develop your mental health, um, learn how to deal with your emotions and your problems effectively so you don't feel too down about feeling rejected and you know how to see and feel opportunities and just take them. Do you see what I mean? Um, and even have opportunities generally just come to you. Like I'm telling you, like, when your mindset is that level, I took from experience because I used to be a, I used to be a complainer, yeah. I used to be the champions of champions of complaining, yeah, moaning and complaining, and um, yeah, that didn't really do anything. So taking action, doing, having the right mindset, you know what I mean? Like I'm telling you, I'm, I've started to see a lot of opportunities. I take them, you know. I may not be where exactly where I want to be yet, but 
you know, I'm taking opportunities that's in alignment with where, with that, and that's the that's the main thing. But anyway, you got anything you want me to react to next, or anything you want me to talk about next? Leave that in the comment section below, and remember, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification, because you never know the video you suggest might just be next.